power boat racing, toughest of seaborne sports, took on a new look in the 1969 calendar when a unique event was announced and a wide variety of craft took shape in home and overseas boatyards. The Daily Telegraph and BP were joint sponsors of the first ever round Britain race with £17,000 in prize money for strictly amateur crews. Entry lists included flat-out racing craft, outboard inflatables, and a whole range of large and small cruisers, like these Ferry Marine Huntsmen fitted with twin diesel truck engines, all ready to have a go at riding the white horses. Forty-two boats rolled up to the line off Portsmouth and Southsea, and a large crowd saw the Duke of Edinburgh fire the start gun. Weather forecasts were good for the first 170-mile run to Falmouth. The race scheduled ten stages and one Grand Prix-style spurt round the Isle of Man. Among the leaders was John Kennelly's Maltese Magnum Twin, punching a thousand horsepower into one propeller. Also well up were the Morris brothers, Derek and Michael, joined in Ford Power by veteran of the game, Vic Miller. Three 21-year-olds crewed the outboard-powered inflatable psychedelic surfer, a remarkable little craft which was soon to become the darling of the crowds on beach and headland. In spite of calm seas to Falmouth, there were four retirements, and 909, after a hasty prop shaft repair, made landfall just inside the time limit. Lady Aitken led the Sea Spray team with Thelma Freeman on board. Both had six seasons of powerboat experience behind them. Seven Ford Sport had one-time test pilot Peter Twiss at the helm and motor rally champion Roger Clark in his crew. American-built UFO 123 with Tim Powell and Norman Barkley, both well known on the international powerboat scene. approached Douglas still in calm waters with an overnight stop before tomorrow's island circuit. Everyone wondered just how long the fickle English weather would hold so good. sportsman John Freeman skippered Ford Speed, a man who'd been messing about in boats since his 12th birthday.
Avenger 2, a fast, spectacular racing boat, used the calm seas to Falmouth and Milford Haven to gain two firsts. She dropped to number three on the third leg to the Isle of Man, but was still overall leader in the hands of Finland's rally ace, Timo Mäkinen. Spectators crowded the cliffs when the wind changed to force six, and the sea boiled over on the Isle of Man circuit. Surfacing from the depths of a very ugly sea was John Corcutt's crew in their rubber boat, so aptly named Psychedelic Surfer. Real trouble for one of the Bovril team boats near the rocks at the southern tip of the island. An engine failure in six-foot waves and a strong undertow left no alternative to signalling for help. The volunteer manned lifeboats around the entire course gave their usual magnificent service. was accepted, but this meant disqualification from the race. After repairs, they continued as a service boat to their team. 